Welcome to the first ever episode of Gardening Quick Tips with the Mighty Mustache. Today we will be talking about aphids. Just note that today is November 14th and I still have a full tent full of plants, still alive, looking unhappy though. Their leaves are starting to drop, they're turning yellow. Uh, that's because they are retaining water. Uh, they are not using it up quick enough. It is getting very cold at night. Um, not cold enough to kill them, but cold enough to disrupt them. So I am just harvesting peppers until the end comes and then I will clear this out. But let's get to why we're here today and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, like I said, plants are looking sad. It's a very cold time of year for them and they just can't cope with the temperature drops. They're not utilizing the water. But what I want you to pay attention to here is, if you'll notice, do you see those little white things on top of there Those little dried up casings that just fall off they look like bugs at first I'm not sure if they are I'm not sure what they are but I, I, I they're usually an indicator that you have another problem and if we look closely right here on this leaf I'll show you look what's hiding right there see them little guy right there that is an aphid and where there's one there's more let's look around look at those guys every gardener's worst enemy right there so if you notice that what you want to do I'm not so concerned right now uh, it's the end of the season, but you're going to want to attack them with something because eventually, if you let aphids get out of control, the adults will grow wings. They'll be able to fly around. And at the end of the season, they're going to fly, find a place to hibernate and wait. And then they'll come back next season and they won't even bother to lay eggs. They'll lay entire whole brand new aphids and they'll just get right to work on your garden. So not a good thing especially if you're mid-season and this is happening and then you get aphids everywhere uh, they're gonna become almost unstoppable so it's a good thing to do a regular regimen of neem oil and soap uh, two to one mixtures what I use uh, so basically if I use one ounce of neem oil per gallon I'll use a half an ounce of dish soap something with no additives I usually use Dawn um, you can use like 100% cold pressed neem oil or 75% whatever is available um, with warm water, mix it up and spray down the plant. Now that soap is going to kill aphids immediately. The neem oil is going to stop their appetite, stop their reproductive capabilities. It will just uh, bring the cycle to a halt. They won't be able to do anything. So that's one way to do it. it takes a little bit longer to control them that way, but it will work. Now another way to do that, you can use something more like a chemical warfare. Um, there's a uh, company called Seven, I believe. They make a spray, it's called Seven. And you can use that stuff that should instantly kill anything. That's only if you're not worried about organics. You know, if you don't care what you're hitting them with, um, that's a good solution. Like right now, it's the end of season for me. I could hit them with that and not worry about it because I'm going to be cutting all this down anyway. So that's probably what I'll do. Now, if it's mid season and you want to keep everything, you know, safe, you don't want to use chemicals, then your best bet would be to go with the neem oil and soap, which, like I said, I recommend using on a weekly or bi-weekly basis anyway to keep them away and to prevent them from taking over. You don't want that to happen. So that's my opinion. That's what I do. And yeah, if you ever notice weird little white things on top of your leaves, that's not the enemy. It's what's under the leaves. And I guarantee the more leaves you check out, the more aphids you will find. I haven't been paying attention as much lately because I haven't been in the garden as much because of the time of year. But yeah, they will take over. So that's my quick tip for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I taught you something. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. If you don't follow me, you don't subscribe to me, please subscribe. Give me a like, turn the notification bell on, and as usual guys, have a great night, 
have a great day. Whatever time it is, have a great one.